The key question that we have to ask is, can we still afford these new innovative medicines? And we, I mean society, can we as a society still afford to pay for those expensive medicines? Because we want to help everybody. If a pa patient has cancer, we want to help that patient and we want to give the patient the best possible medicine. But if that medicine is very expensive, then of course there is a problem because the, the society does not have enough money to pay for everything in healthcare. So we have to make uh, choices. The problem has increased uh, certainly since the financial and economic crisis. Because since the financial economic crisis, there is less money to spend on healthcare. And therefore the choices that we have to make, we feel them even more than before. We really have to make selection of what can we still pay uh, with our healthcare system, what can we not pay anymore. What we see is that uh, many of those new medicines are very expensive. They are also effective, but the ratio between their costs and their effect is not always so good. So some are very expensive and only a little bit effective. And then we have to say they are not cost effective, they are not value for money. And those medicines, we have to decide not to reimburse them uh, from the healthcare system. Now, that is, of course, a very difficult choice to make. And there are solutions, of course. The first and easiest solution would be that those medicines would be less expensive, that their price would be lower. And that can only be obtained if we make the development process of those medicines uh, shorter and smoother, so that there is a better collaboration between the governments and the pharmaceutical industry, so that the development of those cancer drugs can go faster and then also less expensive. In that case, the drug, the drug companies cannot anymore claim that the drug development was very expensive and therefore the drug must be very expensive. So if we make the development cheaper, then the drug will also be uh, cheaper. A second solution is um, some kind of contracting. That means that if a drug that is expensive does not work in a patient, that the company signs a contract that they will pay the money back of that drug. Because if it doesn't work, why should we as a society pay uh, for the drug? So there are already existing contracts between drug companies and governments that uh, organize that kind of, uh, we call it a risk sharing uh, agreement. Another Im very important trend is what we call personalized medicine. And some people prefer the term stratified medicine. And that means that before starting to give a drug, we apply a biomarker to a, a patient. So we, we do a test and the test tells us, okay, uh, this patient will be more eligible uh, for this treatment, this patient is very likely to uh, respond to this treatment and then in those patients the new treatment will become value for money, will become cost effective. So in general we hope and we believe that um, this personalized medicine or stratified medicine will help to improve the cost effectiveness of uh, cancer treatments and that it can help us again to afford uh, those uh, new medicines. We as health economists, we uh, try to calculate that famous ratio between costs and effects. And that's not so easy. Suppose a new drug um, comes to the market and we know the price of that drug. But we also know what the benefits are of the drug. For instance, thanks to that drug, there are less people who have to go into the hospital. Or thanks to that drug, there are less adverse events, and so we have less cost of treatment for adverse events. That's the first thing that we calculate. And then we look at the effect of the drug, and we express the effect in what we call uh, quality-adjusted life years. So can the drug prolong the life, but can the drug also improve the quality of life of the patient? Um, then we have a ratio, so what is in, in the end the net cost of that treatment and also what is the net effect on the health of the patients. And some drugs have a very good ratio between cost and effects and other drugs have a very bad ratio between cost and effects. And those with a very bad ratio, we have to say sorry we cannot pay for that because if we spend all our money on that very expensive drug and we don't find a lot of benefit, then the money is lost and we cannot spend it anymore to other drugs where the ratio between cost and effects is much better. So that's how we make the selection. It's, it's, like, um, it's like if you go shopping, you want value for, what, for your money. And if you see something that you like, but it's in your view way too expensive 
for its value, then you will not buy it. We as a society, we have to uh, apply the same logic for the new uh, medicines. We try to apply a threshold. What is the maximum uh, cost that we can afford as a society for a given effect? We call that the societal willingness to pay for, uh, for new drugs. The WHO, the World Health Organization, has written a document on the a guide to cost effectiveness. That's the title of the document. And they say we have to apply a maximum willingness to pay for uh, additional health. So uh, a drug that costs, imagine a drug that costs 500,000 euros. 500,000 euros, it's uh, incredible. There are some drugs that cost that much. And it will just add a couple of days of life expectancy. Then everybody will say this is this is wasted money, this is way too expensive compared to the benefit. And there are calculations done uh, by the WHO and they come to the conclusion we have to take into account the gross domestic product per capita of a given country. A rich country can permit to put their threshold higher and unfortunately a poor country cannot permit to spend so much money for health and they have to put their threshold um, lower. That also means that there is an urgent need for more solidarity between the European countries so that uh, also the poor countries and the, the people with cancer in the poor countries can also have access uh, to those um, expensive medicines.